Hello, so what is a takeout double and when do we use them? Sometimes when opponents open the bidding, you may also have an opening strength hand, but no suit which is good enough to make an overcall. That's when a takeout double might come to your rescue. We'll go straight to a hand. We have this quite strong hand in south, 14 high card points, and our opponents have opened one heart. What are our options? We can't make a suit overcall. To do that, we would need a good five card suit. And we will be misleading partner if we overcall any of our suits at the two level. We're not strong enough to make a rebid of one no trump. And we have a weakness in the hearts. So that's not an option either. The only thing we can do here is to make a takeout double. So what are we trying to achieve by making a double? A takeout double, as opposed to a penalty double, is used when opponents have bid at a low level, maybe the one, maybe the one or the two level. And we're not doubling for penalties. In other words, we're not doubling to say, I don't think you're going to make the contract. This is a specific takeout double, and it asks partner to bid their best suit out of the other three suits that haven't been bid. So we double here, asking partner here to bid either spades, clubs or diamonds, depending on which is their strongest suit. So this is how it works. Whatever partner bids, we're going to be happy. We're going to be happy to play this contract in spades, in clubs or in diamonds. But we do want to compete because of our strength. So what are the minimum requirements for making this takeout double? Firstly, you need to have an opening strength hand. So around 12 or more high card points. And what we're promising partner is that we have at least three cards in each of the other suits so that we can find the best fit between us. These takeout doubles, we make over low level bids from our opponents, usually at the one or the two level. So let's go ahead and make that double. Okay, well, three spades from partner. So that's partner's best suit. And partner jumped to the three level, which is quite important. The thing to bear in mind here is that with our double, we've shown an opening hand. So North is responding to our double, knowing that we have at least 12 high card points and at least three spades. So with partners supporting at the three level. So it's important for, for us to bid to game here, especially with that singleton heart. So we can see partners hand now, a lovely five card spade suit, and certainly enough points to go to the three level. Let's see how this plays out. An opening lead from east of the ace of hearts. So what are we going to do? But there are some trumps to draw. We will hold off drawing the trumps for a while, though, because we should be able to rough a few hearts in the dummy. So not much we can do on this first trick. We can win this in dummy or in hand. Good plan to win in hand here with the king. And then we can lead a six of hearts to trump in the dummy. Now we'll draw some trumps. Well, there's still one trump out and that's with East. And that's the jack. I'm not going to draw the final jack because that will use up dummy's last trump. And so I'm going to play the ten of hearts. Then we can trump that before I draw that final spade trick. We can play these diamonds.
And we can play a diamond up. And we can trumpet in North's hand. And now time to draw that final spade. I'm going to throw a club away there. Cash this ace of clubs. The nine of diamonds is a winner because diamonds have gone. Throw away this queen. And then we've even made the last trick with a trump. Well, that's great. We've made with two over tricks for a score of 680 points because we're vulnerable. And we can see how we made those extra tricks by trumping those hearts in the dummy before we drew out all the trumps. A quick recap on what you need for a takeout double. You need to have an opening hand, opening strength hand. So round 12 or more high card points. You need to be short in the suit that's bid by your opponents. You may have a void or a singleton or a doubleton. And the third thing is that you must have support for the other suits that haven't been bid. And by support, we mean three or more cards in each of those unbid suits. So that whatever partner bids, you're, you are happy to play there. You're basically leaving the decision up to partner. One of the things to be aware of with a takeout double is that you are forcing your partner to make a bid. And so if they bid at, a, at the lowest possible level, it may well be that they have very few points. So do be cautious there. So that's a first look at using a simple takeout double. I do hope it's been useful. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.